Hello, welcome to the Freak Show, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Rats. Time is running out by Ceteramus Incorporated. It releases today on Steam, and you should all be pretty excited by this, because the game is, well, it's a lot of fun. You go stage by stage, and you have a minute, usually, sometimes less, to complete your objectives. You have to run around, dodge guards, which would be like this individual over here, while gathering up power-up cheeses and or various coins and your ultimate goal, get the diamond and get out. So we're going to hop in and play for 15 to 20 minutes, somewhere in that range, maybe a bit longer. I don't know, it really depends. We'll start a new career because we can. How's that? I played for about 20 minutes myself just to kind of see what the game was all about. And I will stop talking through the very quiet but pretty interestingly drawn and, I don't know, it's kind of nice, a little storyline here. And that was pretty much the size of it. Go in, do some murderous things, and get out before we all die, right? So, let's hop in and get started. And here we are. So the first few levels are going to be pretty much gimme levels. Kind of get you used to the whole concept of running around looting stuff and getting out before the time limit. So, we'll take it stride by stride, step by step, inch by inch. And victory! I know it was really complex and complicated, you guys. It's okay, though. It's okay. All right. So we pretty much crushed the goal. I think that's that's fair. On to Silver Tune. And find the gold diamond key to open the vault door. All right, guys. Something new added into the mix. In order to get the diamond this time, we must find the key. Oh, what's this? It's right there. Surprise! Grab up all the loot, and head for the exit. Each time you go to these different levels, I would guess the first little area that we're at would probably be considered a tutorial area, a starting area, if you will. Kind of get you familiar with the game as it slowly gets more and more complicated. Alright, we can pick up clocks to add more seconds onto the timer, so let's do that. When you have 19 seconds, anytime you open a door, it actually takes time away from your overall. So, getting clocks is definitely the play. And if we're fast, if we hurry, we will make it. We did. With one second to spare. Actually, four seconds to spare before the goal. So, look at that. Eh? Yeah, pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's right. I am a criminal rat mastermind, to be sure. Alright, let's see what's next. It says fighting guards and opening doors will take seconds away from the timer, so we will... Well, we can't avoid opening doors, but we can avoid the guards. At least to an extent, right? So we see their visual pattern and path. And all we need to do now is grab up of this key. And then sneak past the guard, come down here. Loot of the diamond from the... Well, from the vault, I guess it is. And get out of there. We did all that in 30 seconds, or, well, probably more. I think we got a clock somewhere in there, it's fine. Oh, actually we didn't, so yeah, we did all that with 30 seconds to go. Nice. Alright, and that was pretty much it for the first starting area. So I need to go from here over to this place. This is Lighthouse Bay. And to Pea Ridge. And I played just a little bit past this point, guys, and it did take me a little bit longer. I was experimenting trying things out, so this is going to be going way, way smoother than it had in the past for me. Alright, we will gather up the key. And we will gather up all of these wonderful goodies here. As he retreats from us, we'll come over here and grab up the other key. Snag the coins behind him. Wait 
for him to get out of our way. Tag that. Go in here. And the treasure loot shall be ours. There we are. We are loaded with fat treasure loots. And aha, I decided to go around behind, and that was the play. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, three seconds to spare. We got all five of these little star things. Gold star for Gus. No, I'm kidding, guys. All right, so there we go. And I'm not sure if I played this one. This might be where I stopped. So I think I said 20 minutes. It's probably more like 15, but still. I have a pretty good idea what's going on. All right, run over a four floor plate to activate it. Ooh. Shiny. All right, so we're going to need some sort of key to get into that. We have to wait for our compatriot here. Well, I almost made the the horrible, horrible mistake of uh, trying to go past that guy there. That would have not been the play. Well, this guy seems like a pleasant old chap. Well, we can come back and get the rest later. All right, we have the key. Now we're gonna have to wait. Oh, the time. It's unfortunate. Oh. Apparently the key we got was not to this. Well, that threw me for a loop. Alright. There we go. Now that we're rapidly running out of time, because I made terrible decisions with my life. Oh, we're not going to be able to make it again. Darn it. Hurry up, man. Come on. We might redo this, guys, for the stuff, or we might advance along just fine. Both are options. Come on, dude. Come on with the speed and the quickness. No. Well, we got there at the very last second, I guess. All right. Well, there we go. We could have done that much quicker. I definitely noticed some problems that I had there. So, yeah. You guys can see that I uh, did not time the dude too well. And it shows you here. There's a little bar above it. How many stars you actually got. How many are left. So, you can always return back to the other. All right, let's see what's here. Iron gates are opened by activating levers, or levers, if you will. All right. Okay, let's see what this one entails. And simple enough so far. Free cash money coinage. Apparently, this guy is not super thrilled that I exist. We've knocked him out. We have the key. We have taken everything, and now all we have to do is make it out. A bit unfortunate, that whole scenario. Oh, dear. But we made it. Again, zero seconds. Definitely not the play. Not my best goal. But, eh, I did, I did okay. I got through, right? Alright, well, the other ones, I did know what was coming a little bit. Here, I'm trying to act on the fly and I'm not well I'm not doing super good I'm making it through though I'm making it through eating different cheeses will give you temporary special abilities all right so the different cheeses are real eh. old man old bird man oh dear eh. Eh. I'm invisible Apparently that gave me invisibility abilities. And lack of boss. We did it with 21 seconds to spare. That's got to be within the goal time. Yeah. Six stars for Bumpy. All right, guys. This is going pretty well. So as you see, each level, just a short little deal. You figure it out. You get in, you get out, and you get on with your life. So this is definitely one for casual gamers. If you want to go and spend maybe 10, 15 minutes playing a game, you can advance throughout some of the levels and then just stop. Or if you're really, really into this game and you're like, yeah, this is the best game I've ever played, which could be your your your, your idea of the best game you've ever played. I'm totally fine with that. I find it to be quite fun. You'd be like, all right, I'm just going to bang out the entire thing and just sit there one afternoon or over two days or something and just bang out the entire game and then keep trying to better your scores, make sure you get all the stars, and, well, continue on loving life and digging of the rats. Time is running out. The white cheeses, or cheese, reverses doors, clocks, and guards effect on time. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay. Okay. 
Alright, so basically what we want to do now is knock out the dude. And there we go. I didn't know if there was anything over there specifically to be had. Oh. Huh. Sorry. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, there we go. Ah. I'm a fool. It's okay, folks. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Well, this is going to definitely take a little bit of learning curvation here. So much fighting. Oh, no. The fuzz. Oh, gosh. Wow, it was a giant teddy bear thing. <laughs> that was pretty good. All right, we'll try that again now that I have a little bit more understanding of what's going on. So don't be afraid or don't get bummed out if you actually fail some of these guys. It's going to happen. There is a learning curve that is, well, it takes a little bit to figure out, sadly. All right, some freebie time. We are a locksmith, apparently. I would very, very much like to grab up some of that stuff there. We'll come on down around here and grab all this wonderful fun stuff. Come on, geezer. Give me that clock. Oh, gosh. Oh, come on, key. <sighs> there it is. All right, we got the key. Feeling pretty good about ourselves here. Oh dear. Wow. Okay, he's definitely got vision of us now. Oh. Oh no, we're never gonna make it. Ah. That's pretty funny. All right, we'll try it one more time, guys. If I can't do it, then I'm just gonna cry openly, and you guys can point at me and laugh. We should be able to get it though. I think it's pretty simplistic, actually, that we're able to, to nail this. Alright, we got a little bit of extra time there. I think my problem is too much greed. Too much greed is not a good thing. Also, bunching up to gather the key up there and not actually achieving it was not the play. It was probably not the best maneuver I could have possibly have made. So, there is that. Move it, kitty cat. Move it, move it, move it. Alright. Onward here. Onward here. No failures this time around. Oh! Like a freaking stealth ninja of death. Yeah! And victory! Alright. There we go. Ah, uh, we didn't make it within the goal, but we got five out of six stars. I'm okay with that. All right, cool. All right, now it looks like we can go to the treasure room, or is that Kamer Path? Hmm. The split is real. Let's try the treasure room. All right, it says it's easy, and we get a U magnet. I'm not sure what that is, but let's go find out. All right, each blueprint will unlock a purchasable tool from the inventory window. Ah, oh, cool. All right, and it looks like it magnetizes gold to us, maybe? Well, we'll find out. Oh, super speed cheese, yeah. All right, doesn't look like we have a tremendously huge amount of time. So we need to utilize our time as best, as, as rapidly as possible. Give us a bit more, all right. Again, I will assume greatly that my pathing is not going to be the most efficient or effective in any way. Alright. Let me continue onward here. Grab up some more time for us. And as it looks, we're getting closer and closer to that coveted end goal here. But again, I'm not entirely certain. I'm really running low on time right now. We got that. We got the uh, pretty much everything here. 
Alright, we should be able to make it out. I think I did it. I think I'm a hero if I can remember where the exit is, and I did, and I'm a hero! Yeah! Alright, well, we were four seconds over par, but that's okay. We got everything, and... Apparently, it's available down there, the Magnificent Magnet. Alright, now what is this? The Magnificent Magnet attracts nearby coins and makes looting a whole lot easier. Select again to build it with 200 coins. Sure, that sounds exciting. Alright, we're going to go down to Kamer Path. Ooh, there's a typewriter we can get there. I don't know what that's going to do, but hey, let's find out. Alright, yep. Exactly the same thing. Let's go see what the deal is here. Oh, this is going to be a little more traditional, it seems. A little bit more traditional. Alright. Oh no, I just wasted so much time. Alright. Go that path. We're going to grab the blueprints. We're going to continue on down this way. We don't have a tremendously huge amount of time left, unfortunately. Oh, no, there's another one over there. No, I'm a failure. Maybe. Oh, he came from the exit. Oh, uh, that was close, though. It was close. It wasn't too bad. I know, this is why you guys like seeing the first look videos. You like to watch me struggle and strain against the challenge of a new game every single time, but that's okay. I've accepted that and I've moved on. What's up, oldie? That definitely did make it easier. We are now the Time Master. Oh, really? I feel as though we're actually quite well off right now. We can get the diamond from there, we can come over here, we can grab the Inviso Cheese of Love, and everything else we could ever need, and get out with plenty of time to spare. That was the correct order to do things in, folks. I... Hmm, I missed two coins, apparently. I don't know exactly where. I'm actually going to try that one again. I don't know where I missed the two coins. I feel bad. I think you guys deserve better than that from me. Maybe... Oh, gosh. Ah! Alright, we're gonna try that again, guys. Well, apparently, I get a little bit too greedy, a little bit too eager with my movement. It was not the play. They are still bugged out because I uh, restarted the level. They're not super thrilled with me right now. That's okay. All right, it must have been the guy on the right. I didn't get the two coins from the bottom with. That is totally my bad. But we definitely made it well within time last time, so shouldn't be a big deal getting it this time around. And we made it. Oh, just barely. Woo. There it is. There's the seven stars that we all, or six stars that we all know and love. Bam, all the coins this time. Alright, there we go. That's much better. Alright, so the typewriter. And disguise yourself as a typewriter when you are not moving. Select again to build with 250 coins. Sure. That sounds like a pretty fun uh, superpower. Disguise yourself as a typewriter. Alright, we're going to break in and start looting. And it's going to be quite fun, guys. I think once we clear out this area, I'm going to break it off so you guys have something to play on your own when you go and grab the game for yourself. Or yourselves. I don't know. It's fine. Oh dear. Yeah, it's this random typewriter just chilling here, huh? Super speed. Da, 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 da. All right. Oh, we don't have a key. Well, that's not great. I think the play might have been to. Oh, he gets out. Okay, okay, so the super cheese was to actually outrun the fox. Oh, we're just gonna screw everything up. No, he's coming. Oh, God. Run for the hills. Shoot through the wall. <laughs> Alright, we'll try it again. I think half the fun in this game is actually failing to do the missions. I really do enjoy the different, uh, just the mechanics of the game. 
like stuff bad happening is actually quite funny in this game. All right. Well, we're gonna go and we're gonna outrun this dude, and he's gonna be like, "Where'd he go? I don't know what happened." And it's gonna be fine, folks. It's gonna be just fine. All right, come up here, grab the clock. Play with the door a little bit there, make it worse. Be a typewriter. Be the typewriter. Oh my, that was scary. All right, go over here. Definitely not the best play we've ever made, but it could have been a lot worse. I know we missed some wonderful, wonderful coinage back this way. I don't think we can get it. Well, we might come back and do this one one more time, folks. One more time for prosperity or something. I don't know. Yeah, we didn't get all the coins. We'll try that one one more time. And then we'll go to Upside Town, which is pretty funny because it's like upside down. Uh -huh. A little play on words there. It's fine. All right. We've got it this time. Oh, there's three coins down there that I totally didn't notice. All right, there we go. Look at that. Mad skills all up in a mad abundance. What? Never gonna catch me, Mr. Fox? All right, now we're looking fairly decent. I have a little bit better understanding of what we're up against. Hurry up. Hurry up, Fuzz. I'm a typewriter. You shall never have me. Super speed cheese, go! Alright, we shall openeth the door, and we shall be able to retreat quite easily from this. With all the coins, and I think with enough time to spare. And bam! Perfect! See? It's all about learning what you need to do. Alright, let's go see what Upside Town is all about. It's going to give me any additional things. Running over square or round pressure plates will open their corresponding doors. Yes, yes, we're aware of this. All right, onward we go. It's a pretty, uh, there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to make terrible mistakes this time around. Give me that clock. Oh, we didn't get the key yet, though. Darn. That's definitely not the play. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. You're killing me here. There we go. A little bit more time on the the docket here. This is rough. I'm not going to lie. This is a little tiny bit rough. I don't think we have the oomph to do it, but okay. We'll see. I don't see any of these weird pressure plates that they're talking about. Oh, come on. No. Oh, there's a clock over there now, too. Well, that's just poopy. No. Oh, he cheated. He didn't come out of the exit at all. What was that? What was that? That was that was mean. All right. Well, at least I know what I need to do now. We definitely need to move to the left, not to the right. And if we do it properly, we'll be able to get out of this quite well. We do it improperly. Well, you saw the results there. All right, we'll gather up the coins, gather up the clock, and uh, outrun the dude. Grab the treasure loot, all of the treasure loot. And exit. <laughs> Did we get all the coins? We got everything. Nice. And we are victorious, folks. Oh, the shiny vault. That sounds exciting to me. Let's go break into that and see what's in there. So good. I'm glad this actually ran a little bit longer than I was anticipating. I was worried that I would get to a certain point and I'd either get stuck or... Eh. We shall see. Alright, sometimes it pays to be patient. Boy, they must not know me very well. Oh, this is not a good idea at all. Oh, there's the stupid door switch. Darn it. They call me Moneybag McGee. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. I lost you, fool. Oh no! Oh, I got all the coins at least. Alright, I'm not actually sure what we need to do in that one, to be honest. Well, that was a bit beyond my pay grade. See, this is what I was worried was going to happen. Like, despite me running around doing all the stuff that I just did, I have no... Oh, oh, okay, I see it now. Oh gosh, I was a fool. Oh, apparently they found me again. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Yeah, sometimes it does pay to be patient. Other times, not so much. Alright, I'm gonna sneak past you, grab up all the coins in the place. Oh, cool. There were secret doors there. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna be doing here, but I'm eager to figure it out. Oh, 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 we're still rocking. Oh gosh. Oh, crazy old dude's after me. Captain Batty himself. Master Thief, run like the wind, Binky. Alright. Uh oh. That was not the door. Ah! Uh. Alright, what are we looking at here? The key? Simple enough. Now we have 30 seconds to do the rest of this. And I think our ability to do so may not be hindered any further by my terrible awfulness. Get organized! Alright. I've gotten myself organized. I am prepared for murder, death, killing, and or victory. And there's the exit in nine seconds. Probably over the time goal by quite a bit, but we managed to get through it, and that's all that matters right now for me. Alright folks, to the city map, and as you see, we can go to Rich Hog Peaks now, and then on to various other ones. Once we unlock 70 of the stars, we can go up to the skyscraper, 100 over here, and 125 down to the mansion, or the piggy bank, as it were. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed your time spent here with me playing a little bit of a rat. Time is running out. If you want any more information about the game, where to pick it up, more information on the developer, all that stuff will be down below in the description of the video. I really enjoyed this game. I think it's actually quite well done, and it's unique. You don't see a lot of games like this anymore. I mean, there's been a few over the course of the years, but it's been a while. So, yeah, I definitely like the approach. I like the whole rat theme with the cheese and everything else. I think the developer did a fantastic job. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, this is just released today on Steam, so go grab it and enjoy, and definitely show me up. Until the very next episode, or until the very next first look, as it were, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.